funeral go? <sighs> it's pretty awful. Well, you didn't expect to walk in the park, did you, huh? Julian was there, and uh, Olivia was there, too. They always were a close family. I thought I was going to be able to put all of this behind me, you know? Um, I think, uh, I think we both know you've got to do that. Hmm? Yeah, Sean keeps going on about it, too. You know, for once, Sean's right. But I can't if I keep seeing these constant reminders. What reminders? Um, um, Julian, Julian was on the plane. Why would he want to come back to Port Charles? I don't know. Something to do with uh, family business, I... But he was never acknowledged as the heir apparent to the family. I mean, he never had the stomach for it. Well, what's the matter with me? I mean, every time I see somebody from that family, I, I feel like I want to get into it all again. I want to, I want to investigate them. I want to find out what they're doing. It's conditioning, love. Come on, we've both been brought up to do that. And then I thought that by going to New York, you know, I was... I was going to be able to put take him to a little place for myself and kind of put him to rest, you know, and stop constantly rehashing it and torturing myself and going over and over it all again and give myself a little peace and everybody around me. I've got to get on with my life. I think you're doing just great. Really. No, I'm not. I'm not. I thought that everything... I thought my head was really getting together, you know, and, and I was... It's playing tricks on me, Robert. What tricks? I was at the airport, and I saw him. I saw Duke. He was standing there looking right at me. Look, that was... That's just the stress of it all. The last 12 months, the release, the whole bit, it's all gone. No, it's not that. I saw him alive. I saw him standing there. I did see him. I swear I saw him. Anna, come on. Am I losing my mind? Nick? Yeah, I was told by some friends of mine that uh, you could help me on a little matter. Julian Jerome. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. They told me that you can locate Duke Lavery. He's alive. You're sure? All right. Uh, yes, I'd like you to find him for me. Sure, Nick. I'll give you all the money I can lay my hands on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a score to settle. All right. I'll be talking to you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard flight 254 for Rio de Janeiro. Please observe the no smoking sign and make certain your seatbelts are fastened. And we hope you have a very pleasant trip. Dead as a doorknob. You know, we're going to be audited one of these days. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> no, I, I'm just here. It's more personal. It's rather cryptic. I don't mean it to be cryptic. Mm. 
Well, Robin wants to meet Olin here instead of at school. You know, she's an older girl now right. and everything. So I just wanted to make sure that they connected and everything was fine. After all this your own business, I get real nervous when it comes to her. Yeah, I get a little nervous myself about all this business, especially when it comes to you. I'm okay. Oh, yeah, sure. You're fine. That's why you're staring off in this space, right? Want to talk about it? Well, I'm really all right. I mean, thank you for caring and everything. It's just that I'm not thinking about the bad things anymore. I'm really not. I'm really trying to think of all the positive things. But I just keep remembering due to me and you know, how very happy we were and how happy we could have been. Hey, where to, senor? Great. So, where do you want to go? Meet is running, you know. You want to go there? Hey, uh, you know, I, I've been a hacky for like eight years in New York City, and after that, this is just paradise, you know that? Look, I gotta tell you something. That island, it's got a reputation. I mean, people who go there, they don't always come back. The locals, you know what they say? The locals say that the island is cursed. Now, I don't believe in that garbage. But I'm just saying, you know, there's, there's a lot of other islands out there better safe than sorry, right? Huh? Hey, come on. My brother-in-law runs a hotel. I wanted... All right, okay. Sure, hey, if that miserable, godforsaken little island is where you want to go. Manny is going to take you there. Now you just get yourself set for a nice bumpy ride, okay? I'm telling you, Brazil's getting as many fruit cakes as New York. The uh, pumpkin place, what's with the fruit salad? I thought you liked ice cream. Well, I do, but fruit tastes good, and it's naturally sweet and good for you, too. <laughs> it sounds like a paid endorsement. <laughs> well, Tang Neva told me, and he knows what's good and bad for you to eat, and he's also showing me what roots and plants are edible and how to make a soup out of stuff that goes right in my own backyard. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll remember that the next time I'm invited to dinner. Mm. <laughs> oh, I don't think that Elena will buy into any of that. Well, Tang Neva really knows what he's talking about. He says that people rely on stores and restaurants too much. Mm -hmm. They forget their natural instincts for survival. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shouldn't think there are many supermarkets in the outback. Well, most people are too scared to try anything different. Yeah, well, they? that fits me to a T, sweetheart. Your Uncle Sean is pretty much the chicken, so I think I'm going to stick with Ruby's burgers and fries. All right. <laughs> oh, that'll be other than... Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Oh. Why didn't you go with her? Uh, I just... Well, I've got some things to do. Anna, why don't you do yourself a favor? Why don't you go home, have a nice, quiet dinner with your daughter, and relax for a change? Yeah, well, I can't, because then I'm going to meet Benny on the bus in a while. I just wanted to ask you. Mm. Maybe he knew something more about the diamonds. Well, I That's thought all. you were finished with all No, that. I'm not. All right, all right, all right. It's my business. Say, what is my business, though? That's Julian Jerome being here in Port Charles. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about that either. Yeah, so he came here to wind up some family business while well, the business of his family makes me distinctly suspicious. Mm, me too. But it is Julian, after all. I mean, it's not like it's Olivia or any of that lot. No, it's like... I don't did I hear you mention Julian Jerome? Yeah, mm -hmm. why? Well, I don't know what he's involved in, but I do know where he's staying. Right here. From upstairs. That a new girl on last night. She rented in the room. Uh, no offense, Ruby, but uh, Julian Jerome is staying here in a boarding house. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I thought the same thing. I thought people like that always stayed in fancy suites and fancy hotels. Well, they usually do. Uh, yeah. thanks, Ruby. Okay. Thank you. Very interesting.